My Humminbird Explore install is done. I'm almost complete and ready to use, except I still have to do some software updates. Getting ready for the maiden voyage. The Mega Live 2 came with version 2.160, so it does not need to be updated. But prior to use, I need to update my Explore 12s. Here's how to find the Humminbird Explore update. You're going to click on the Humminbird website and you're going to go down to Software Updates. You're going to click on that and you can see that the software updates are there. So I have to take my cursor and I'm going to drag it over to this side and I'm going to use the down arrow to scroll down and I'm looking for fish finders and here you can see the explore series here. So I'm going to bring this the most drag it on top and I'm going to click the explore series and I'm going to go down to download current explore software and you can see that it is coming up as the Explore software update. It's 5.250 and it says Explore family software update, which the great thing about the Explore series is you don't have to find your specific unit because the update for the Explore 9, 10 and 12 will all be the same. That simplifies things. When I say simplify things with the Explore, there's only one update for all the Explore units. However, if you were a Helix user, you had to make sure that if you had a Helix 12, so if you would click on Helix 12, you would go in and then you would scroll down and you would have all of these variations. And the only way you could get the update to work is if you specifically selected your model. So for example, if you had a Helix 12 Chirp Omega SI Plus GPS G3N, you must click on this specific update or it will not work. So again, the Explorer, it's just one for all of them. So you don't have to worry about picking your exact unit. Several users who are inexperienced doing updates ran into this problem because you can see with Helix 12 models, there's side imaging models, there's five there, down imaging models, there's five there, uh, GPS and sonar models, there's four there. So, you know, there were a lot of options. And again, you had to be very specific with the Humminbird Helix, not with the Explore. To find out more about the update, once again, I've gone over to the scroll column over here, and I'm going to use the down arrow. And I can see that the current version of the update is 5.250. Was released was released May 13th. The affected models, you can see that it is again the CMSI plus, which is the width transducer plus the control it only. It covers all the families. It goes through all of the new and updated features. And these were some of the previous updates. And it says 5.250, the general performance and reliability of Explorer units is significantly improved. So obviously you want to do it. And then going through, it says important notes and prerequisites. My Mega Live 2 was already at version 2.160, so I won't have to update that. And it will work with the version 5.250. So that uh, is good to know with the Mega Live 2. And it has also the other updates that are installed that are compatible with the 5.250. It will give you the instructions and it says specifically use a class 10 SD or micro SD card. The Explorer units use an SD card, max 32 gigabytes with 300 megabytes of free space. It goes through the download and update instructions. It shows you two methods to update and it will show you the update method one and the update method two. And then if you scroll further down, this is just giving you an idea of what is all involved. There's also videos available for Windows and Mac users to help you through the process. And then you can download the Explorer software 5.250. And it shows you general update notes, what it does with AutoChart Live and Mega Live and 
you can see that there's a significant amount of updates, so it's well worth doing. In this video, I will be using update method one, which involves using an SD card to do the update. I prefer method one because it is generally faster than doing the other update method. I ordered these micro SD cards, which are class 10, 32 gigabytes, and they come with the adapter and the adapter fits into my laptop. So it's relatively inexpensive to do that. And plus I have some extra cards to use in my units to record screenshots and recordings. The micro SD card just clicks into the bottom of the adapter just like that. There should be a slot on your laptop and you just push it in and it clicks and now it's in there and you can now access the information on the SD card. When I put the adapter with the micro card, this screen came up here and it says open file to view folders. So if I bring the arrow, arrow let's click on it and you can see that now it's going to show the removable disk E is over here. So I can go into here, which is my file explorer, click on it. And it says up here, this folder is empty, but I'm going to show you one other trick that I like to do. And back on the Humminbird base map update, I needed to do this and properly format it. So I'm gonna right click on this and you should see a screen come up and the screen come up and it shows a bunch of options but format is what i want to do and format basically means that you are erasing anything on the disk but it's also going to put it in a proper format so i'm going to click on format and it's going to show that the file system is fat32 and you want to work with that and that's exactly what you want I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on start. So you can see the start button down there. So I click on start and you can see warning formatting will erase all data on the disk to format the disk, click OK. And I 100% want to do that. So I'm going to bring up the cursor and I'm going to click OK. And we should get a message here that the format is complete. And that means that the card is now 100% ready to go. And now I will download the 5.250 onto the card. I'm going to click OK. And you can see that is done there. And I'm going to get rid of that there. And I'll get rid of the format. Now, if there was no pop-up menu came up, then what you can do is you can go down here to the File Explorer and just in case you didn't see that, it's down here and I'm going to click on it. And you can see now that it brings up the removable disk E and I can go up to that and go through the same procedure that I just showed you. To be 100% clear, the removable disk E is representing the micro SD card that I inserted into the adapter into the laptop. The micro SD card is formatted and you can see I've brought the cursor on to download Explorer software 5.250. I'm going to click on it and you can see that it's doing the update. It tells you there's about 22 seconds left, 14, 12, 11. It doesn't take very long, six and we're almost there. You can see it's got a circle that's filling in so it's almost done zero seconds left and the update is there now the explore update is done i'm going to click on this up arrow and it's going to put show in folder so i'm going to click on that and we'll just let that come up and then we're going to see the Explore update is right here, 5.250. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the left side and I'm going to drag it 
up to root. So it says right now, copy to removable disk E, and I'm going to let it go. And you can see now that it's copying to the disk E, which again is the micro SD card. And basically once that's done, it's ready to go into the unit and update the Explorer to 5.250. And there you can see it's done. You can verify that the update is on the card because remember the file folder was empty on the removable disk E when we formatted it. So now if I take this removable disk E, I can see now that it has the Explore update onto the card. And so I 100% know that we are good to go. To release the adapter, I just push in and it pops out. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to take the micro SD card out of the adapter. And now I can put this into the micro SD card slot of the Explore unit and do the update. The unit is currently at software version. This is in the system info 5.120. So the update is 5.250. In the updates for the Explore unit, it does not tell you to restore defaults in the instructions, but it does say defaults will be restored. So I, I will have to fix that after the update. I'm going to try and do a time lapse so that you don't have to sit there and watch the whole update process. But uh, time lapse is new photography for me. So uh, we're always learning. The Explorer units are new. Time lapse is new. Uh, I can never stop learning. It's the old teacher in me. Before I do the update, I am going to pull any cards out of the unit and they're all out there. So now all I have to do is take the SD card with the update and push it in. And the unit will recognize that the new software version 5.250. I'm going to hit install. And with any update, you want to make sure that your unit is not going to lose any power during the update process. It does require you to take the cards that are in there. So I'm going to take out the VX chip that comes with the unit, which is an awesome chip. And I'm going to lay that aside and I'm going to get set up to install my chip and then we'll start the time lapse photography. The actual process took a couple of minutes, but as you can see here, it validated the update and it will go up in increments 5%, 25%, 50%, 65%, and then it's going to shoot up to 95%. And then you're basically going to get a restart and the update is complete. And then it did go back to the first time setup. So I'm just going to double check it and the first time setup and just make sure. It has you know, the units the way I want it, which is standard, so good. Um, time and date. Uh, yep, and I'm good with all those. And my latitude, longitude format. Oh, it did revert back to the one that I don't want, so I'm going to change that. So I guess with each update, you are going to have to restore your old settings again, which is not surprising. And once again, I like to choose this second boat icon for whatever reason. I think it's got a more pronounced red and green light, so I like it better. It's just me. And I'm going to exit out of that, go down, and go to continue, hit continue, and confirm. And once again, I'm at the screen, and the first time set up, I did the home button. And I did the settings and go to system, system info. And now I can see here back in the system info that I have updated to 5.250. So the update is complete. The Mega Live 2 is at version 2.160, which is also the latest update. So I do not have to update the Mega Live 2. Um, they do recommend updating the head units before doing the accessory. So I am all set and ready to use the Explore and the Mega Live 2, which is awesome. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Now you can remove the chip and update any other 
units that need to be updated on the Explorer system. And don't forget to replace your Lake Master VX chip and use one of those extra SD cards for screenshot recordings. As always, if you have found this video enjoyable or helpful, a like, share, subscribe is very much appreciated. Take care and bye for now.